Welcome back to GDC. I'm Julian. I'm here with Jeff Kanata, one of the early enthusiasts, somebody who could see the potential of VR. And he's going to basically run down for us favorite things you've seen here in terms of virtual reality at GDC. So, Jeff, thoughts on the scene here? Oh, my gosh. I got to play a few minutes of the next episode of The Gallery, which Call of the Starseed was the first of. It's Cloudhead Games' amazing adventure series where you're this little kid, you're looking for your sister, and you uncover aliens. Episode two, not out yet, it's coming out this spring, but oh my gosh, it blew me away. Full-on alien tech, really cool physical puzzles. It deals with scale, it makes you feel like you're in this amazing alien world. Really, really awesome. You know, one of the coolest things I saw, honestly, is the new Vive head strap, which is gonna be on sale, I guess, in June. $100, and it fixes literally every problem I have with the Vive. Way more comfortable. It has this cool like clicking mechanism where you can like click, flip it up and flip it down. Easy to put on and take off. Built-in headphones, you don't have to worry about plugging things in and which headphones am I gonna use. Uh, so that was awesome. Um, I also got to try out full body VR. Vive is gonna be selling those standalone trackers that you can just put on anything, put it on the end of a baseball bat, put it on the sword. But anyway, these guys were putting them on my feet and one on the small of my back and that allowed them to track your entire body. So I jumped into their game, which is a game where you're on an island and there are dinosaurs and you kill those dinosaurs, and I was able to kick dinosaurs. I was punting dinosaurs. Finally! Finally, dinosaur punting has come to the masses. Uh, it was a blast, and once you can get an entire body in there and you are moving completely naturally, it's gonna change how we interact with games, and that to me is the most exciting part of VR. I also played a bunch of stuff at the Oculus booth. I'm really excited about the Mage's Tale. I'm a huge Bard's Tale fan, and the idea of like a sister game to the new Bard's Tale that they're making makes me really excited. There's so much great VR stuff here at the show. I think VR is alive and well. Jeff, thank you so much for giving us the lowdown on all the VR that we didn't get to see ourselves, but we really appreciate it. Sounds like VR is alive and thriving, and that there's a lot of exciting stuff coming to people sometime in the near future. So thank you guys for watching GeForce.